I'm Candy. I'm with the Lincoln County Library System, and welcome to Candy's Creative Crafts. Um, I'm going to show you how to make some simple crafts with your children, now that we're all at home, uh, that you can make out of things that you probably have around your house. If you don't have the exact thing that I have, it's okay. You can substitute things. So let's get started. I believe last week I said something about trying to get a clean sock. And you want to know why? Because we're going to make a sock puppet. These adorable little sock pu puppets. You can make a whole family of them. So let's get started. You're going to start with a sock, preferably a clean one. Um, this one does have the treads on the back, but that's perfectly fine. What you're going to do is you're going to, at the toe of the sock, you're going to kind of gather it together and you're going to put a rubber band around it. Just put the rubber band around a couple of times. Just like that. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut the toe of the sock into strips. You might want to let a grown-up do this because I don't want to get anybody hurt. <laughs> so you're just going to cut it You can make as many strips as you want. And there you go, this cute little hair. Whoops, we got blue going everywhere. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take some cotton balls. I'd say maybe eight or so, just sort of a handful, almost like you're making a snowball. And you're gonna put them in the sock, push them right up to the where the gather is with the rubber band, okay? So there's kind of your puppet in the making. He's shedding. Okay, so our puppet needs a mouth. We're just going to do it out of paper. I'm going to use green paper because I like blue and green together. And I'm going to use a small little cup like this because it's about the size maybe that the mouth should be. But you can make the mouth any shape you want, any color you want. It's your puppet. So I'm just going to cut this circle out, and it will not be perfect. Okay, so I've got this. I'm going to fold it in half, make sure it gets a crease, okay? And I'm going to put a little tacky glue. You can use Elmer's glue or any kind of white glue you want to. Um, you could use a glue stick, but it probably won't stick as well because of the um, fabric of the sock. You don't need a whole lot. Oops. I'm gonna put my puppet back on my hand. Make sure I know where I want his mouth to be. And I'm gonna take the circle with the glue and put it right there and let him chomp. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Okay, so you wanna very carefully take your hand out and just glue, give that glue a little time to dry. Okay, the next thing he needs are some eyes. So I have already pre-cut some circles to make his eyes. And I'm just going to use the glue stick to glue the eye together. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to put those eyes right about there. Cute, huh? I'm going to use a little bit of the tacky glue. And let's make sure I'm gluing it the right way. You can make these puppets look however you want. They can be cute, they can be scary, they can be beautiful. They're your puppets. You make them look like you want them to look. I've also cut a little grain and I've done some um, little strips because I want her to have some eyelashes. Any socks will do, they just need to be long enough that you can get your hand all the way in it. How's that? And you can have a lot of fun with these because if you have more than one child, or even if you just have one child, make a couple of puppets, do a puppet show. We all need something to keep us kind of busy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put some yarn around to hide the rubber band. You can use ribbon, you can use yarn. I like this yarn because it's kind of fuzzy. Let's see. And I'm just gonna tie it around that rubber band. Oops. 
maybe knot it so it doesn't fall off. Okay, let's see. There you go. You've got a cute little puppet. Like I say, be creative, use your imagination, have fun with it. Thank you for staying safe, thank you for staying at home, and have a good day. Bye.